Invis is everything braces isn't. Eating the foods you love, life uninterrupted. Invisalign. Each week, U.S. Bank helps us bring you stories of inspirational athletes who amaze us. That's right, Robert. And Sophia Fidelis is truly amazing. Her entire family is. And tonight, during the holiday season, we are reminded just how important it is to love, cherish, and support those closest to you. I was going from being like a really good player, a really dominant player, to being kind of I had to kind of fit into a role. Sophia Fidelis is a sophomore point guard for the talented Salesian Pride. As a freshman on varsity last year, head coach Steven Pizzola has high expectations for his now returning point. She will go to a great college. She will play basketball at college and she will be a leader uh, of our team here as she uh, goes through the years and she'll be a leader when she gets to college. I just really want to play D1 basketball. Like that's, it's just my life, you know, that's kind of like, that's my everything. So I want to go to a good school where I could, you know, get a good education and then hopefully play overseas because I have two immigrant parents <laughs> come from small little countries. So I want to be able to travel the world just like they've allowed me to over the past years. Sophia's mom and dad both immigrated to the United States in the early 90s. Sophia's dad, Antony, is from Poland, and her mom, Dora, is from Ecuador. We take a long time to get pregnant with Sophia. More than 10 years, I had three miscarriage. Dora was in her mid-40s when she became pregnant with Sophia after doctors told her she probably wouldn't be able to have a baby. They told us it's going to be a girl. Oh my gosh, it's the best step. Why so much? It was a miracle, but I remember beginning of the year in, in um, 2005, they called me and said, yeah, you have a very aggressive cancer. Dora was diagnosed with an aggressive breast cancer when she was eight months pregnant with Sophia. So what's going to happen with my baby? Anthony was crying, my mom was crying. And I said, stop it. I know dead yet. We need to stop it and take care of Sophia because we picked the name already. Doctors wanted to start Dora on chemotherapy right away. So they gave Dora a steroid shot to develop Sophia's lungs and then performed a preterm C-section three days later. When I had the baby and I um, start to figure out what happened if I die? So I was start, I started crying so hard, so hard. I said, "There's no possible." I asked him for a child, and now you want to keep me the mother away? I said, "No, no, 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 no." During that time, obviously I was a baby, so I didn't know what was going on. Um, but she was having a really like hard time, especially like she really wanted me to be in this world, you know, and she probably expressed that. I was so joyful to have her. She was so tiny, it's tiny, tiny. And I see, look at her. I say, look at you, how tiny you are. Look at you now. You're amazing. You're my miracle. You're my angel. Because you saved my life. It took Dora just three months to beat the cancer because of all of the pregnancy hormones rejuvenating her body. The doctor said that you gotta save your life. You, you guys save each other. Yeah. A couple years passed and she got diagnosed with it again. I was probably like third, fourth grade. This is her second time. I was starting to like kind of realize what was happening. So it was really hard for me then. And you know, I was kind of going through, um, trying to find myself, um, obviously growing up. So I had to worry about my mom as well. Um, but she's a fighter. So I knew, I knew nothing was gonna happen. Um, I take great, I take pride in my mom, you know, she's strong. So I, I think um, that's how I get, you know, most of my traits. Today, Sophia's mom is a double breast cancer survivor. But now, Sophia and her family are asking for one more miracle. I'm very sick. I uh, got uh, diagnosed with stage four cancer in March. Doctors diagnosed Antony with a rare thymus cancer after discovering a mass in his chest last March. Doctors removed the mass but found the cancer had entered his bloodstream and spread to his adrenal gland. 
They're also afraid the cancer has spread to Antony's lungs. It's uh, treatable, but it's not curable. It's already in my system, in my bloodstream. So it, it, it's going to show up here and there, and, and they're going to give me treatments until my body will reject everything, and that's the time when, uh, when I pretty much gonna die. He supports us. He's supporting everything, and uh, he works so hard for give us whatever we have. I'm very scared. There was a lot of things going on at the same time. COVID hit, school stopped, couldn't play anymore. We were in quarantine, and then I, I hit with some other news that my dad got you know, sick. Um, it was really hard to be, like, for me, like, I'm only 15, about to be 16. That kind of news, I'm starting to understand, like, the, the kind of, like, um, the hardships, like, what he has to go through, and it just hit me. It's, it, I can't even imagine to be in her shoes. You know, all these things, the, the COVID now, the, the school and me now, my, 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 my illness, it's, it's a lot of things going on in her mind, I know. Sophia don't show much the emotion, but I know she's so um, emotional. And she's afraid to let me stop. And, and I talked to her and I said, life is like that. We need to be prepared. We have each other's back, obviously, and we're rooting for my dad, obviously, but there is a, a, ch it's like a very small chance that something could happen. So. I know that she has me, I have her. Um, she is my best friend at the end of the day, so we're gonna get through it no matter what. We're strong, we're a very strong family. Like, we've gotten through a lot of things and we're gonna get through this now, so. People go through real things, like what I'm going through. Like, I know I'm not the only one. There's never like an easy day where you can just take a day off. Um, you always have to go through stuff. You always have to um, go through all the possible things that could happen, but. It's your escapes that like, you know, let you kind of be free. The basketball is, is pretty much a life, that's what she said. And I think it's helping her a lot to take her mind off uh, what is going on. I just hope then I'm gonna be still watching Sophia playing for many more years. <laughs> it just, I, I'm, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna give up. Two loving parents and a healthy, talented, determined daughter. The Videla's family has already experienced so many miracles. It's possible one more is on its way. Sophia is strong, driven, and is known to always be there for her friends and family. She wants to thank her teammates for having her back. And I can say we at Cal High are definitely Sophia fans, and we are excited to be watching her play these next three years at Salesian. Yeah, and that poor family has gone through so much. So but, much, yeah. But one more miracle, that's all it takes. Yeah, they're, they're keeping <laughs> strong. Okay.